In this video, I'll be covering the replication of call and put options with the Black Scholes Merton model. So we'll start with the call option formula, okay, where C is equals to S, which is the underlying price of the share, multiplied by N of D sub 1. This is based on the standard normal distribution, okay, for the cumulative probability. Okay, and then we would uh, minus uh, the exercise price or the strike price multiplied by E, the exponential function of negative R, the risk free rate, multiplied by T, the remaining time to maturity of the option. Then we multiply by N of D sub 2. So S sub 0 would represent the shares and uh, or the underlying to be more specific. And X, uh, the X component, the PV of the strike price represents the zero coupon bonds or they call it the risk-free bonds. Now, uh, to replicate the long call option, okay, this has to be a positive for the long, right? And on the underlying side, this is a positive. So positive means we would long and D sub 1 units of the underlying shares. And for the zero coupon bonds, the coefficient is negative, negative and D sub 2. So negative means we will short sell, okay? And D sub 2 units of zero coupon bonds. Now, if you are given the values of N D sub 1 and N D sub 2, right? So to replicate a long call option, we'll have to long 0.337 units of the underlying shares and we will short sell 0.2674 units of the zero coupon bonds. So a plus means you will long and negative means you will short sell, okay? The respective components, whether it's the shares or the zero coupon bonds. Now, what if I want to replicate a short call option? Then we'll just have to multiply a negative sign on both sides. So on the right hand side, we'll have a negative underlying price multiplied by ND sub 1. So now it's negative. So from positive, it now becomes negative. And from negative here, it becomes a positive. So we just have to flip the things around. So to replicate a short call option, we will short sell ND sub 1 units of the underlying shares and we will long and these up two units of the zero coupon bonds. So you just change the site in this case, right? So you just have to remember the formula for the long call option and short call would just be, you know, just multiply a negative sign on both sides. Next, uh, we'll move to the put option. So in the formula, we have the long put option on the left and on the right side, we'll start with the PV of the zero coupon bonds and the coefficient is n of negative d sub 2, which is equal to 1 minus n of d sub 2. Then for the share component, we'll, we have a minus n negative d sub 1. So this time around, we will long because this is a plus. Okay, it's a positive coefficient. And for shares, we have to short sell because of the negative coefficient. So if you are given the value of n d sub 1 and n d sub 2, you will first have to compute the value of n of negative d sub 1, which is 1 minus 0 0.337. That gives us 0 0.663. And n of negative d sub 2 will be 1 minus 0 0.2674. So that's 0 0.7326. So to replicate the long put option, we will long 0 0.7326 units of the zero coupon bonds, and we will short sell 0 0.663 units of the underlying shares. Again, if you want to replicate a short put option, we just have to multiply a negative sign on both sides. And this time around, we'll have to short sell the zero coupon bonds and we would long the underlying shares based on the value of N of negative D sub 2 and N of negative D sub 1. Okay, so it's just changing the side from long to short sell. Okay, and changing from short sell the shares to long the shares. So again, you just have to uh, stick to one version, I mean, which is the put option formula. And if you need to do a short put, you just multiply a negative sign. So you don't have to remember, I mean, extra formulas. You just need to have a point to focus on.